Interesting uh, yeah. off the news, uh, GSK just got their RSV uh, vaccine approved. What, what do you guys think about that? Are we going to make a big push? I think so. I think anytime you get, you know, as we say, belly buttons into the door and in, in, in independent pharmacy and into the retail space, opens up opportunities for conversations about other lifestyle choices and things that they may be working on, certainly other you know, shingricks and other things that are going on out there. But creating those those local relationships, local access is always going to be an important thing. So as more of those come out uh, now and in the future, it's going to be extremely important for independent pharmacy that we capture it and we have the infrastructure available for them to be able to take advantage of those types of programs. And certainly, you know, by far the vast majority of our members uh, since COVID, because uh, yeah, you know, prior to COVID, it wasn't as ubiquitous to either do flu shots and right. And now, you know, it's why why are you not versus why are you doing Correct. it? Correct. Economically yeah. for me, everybody now understands that, and that wasn't the case pre COVID. But now we're starting to see great infrastructure, and uh, it's a good opportunity for us to continue. When do you think that'll be? A, when do you think that vaccine will have wide distribution, where your customers will be able to get it? I, I think we're probably going to be looking at maybe. I, I'm speculating, but it'd probably be late summer uh, okay. before end of the uh, end of the season where people tend to have more RSV, you know, the September, October, yeah, or yeah. fall. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if it'll be something you can get at the same time as the flu shot. Yeah. I mean, uh, it'll be interesting to see in the future, now into the future, where you're, you're able to get these combo meds and who's going to be able to start to do that type of stuff. Mm-hmm.